What's up, YouTube? Hope Michael Bar for you back with you again. Uh, this is something I don't normally do. Um, all right, let's get into it. Um, Pit Barrel Cooker has a lawsuit against Barrel House Cooker, and the first claim is that the plaintiffs incorporates everything that you want to know is down in the link in the description. Uh, you can look at it for yourself. It's the entire lawsuit. Um, anybody that's in the chat right now, I'm not watching right now. I'm literally reading the the document. Um, it says that Pit Barrel Cooker is claiming that Barrel House Cooker says plaintiff incorporates by reference all avernments in this complaint. Defendant, defendant has manufactured, used, offered for sale, sold, or imported and continues manufacture to sell, comma, sell or import a portable barrel cooker, including but not limited to the barrel houses cooker that infringes on 334 patent in violation of 35 USC government code. So understanding this, you can go look at the lawsuit. Um, here's why I'm here. Um, Pit Barrel Cooker is suing Barrel House Cooker, which Barrel House Cooker has a, my understanding, is an agreement with Walmart to sell their product. I just want to get this out there for people to understand that, you know, this is going on and that you guys need to be aware of it. You know, um, I'm a firm believer that United States citizens come up with ideas and they get patents, trademarks, et cetera, on them, and they should have the ability to protect those things. So what I want to do is put that out there ahead of time, let you guys know what's going on, and basically all the details are down in the description. I'm not a lawyer. I don't understand this shit. Um, you guys know I'm a fucking idiot, whatever, but... I'm letting you guys know it's out there and this is what's going on. So I know this is a surprise. We got six people in the chat, seven people, whatever it is. And I appreciate you guys for showing up. Um, this is going to be kind of short, but go check out. I'm literally giving you the, the legal document. You can read it to the best of your ability and, you know, go from there. You can make your, you can form your own opinion. Um, the pit barrel cooker's been out for quite a few years now. The barrel house cooker I'm just hearing about in the last six months-ish. And um, if you read the lawsuit down below, you'll you'll get some information, some interesting information. Make your own your your own opinion. Um, I'm not telling you what to do, what not to do. I'm just putting the info out because you guys know me. I give a shit about facts, what you guys want, the right thing to do, etc. You may not agree with me. I'm cool with that. But I'm going to always tell you guys, I'm going to give you guys the best information I got. And if that, if you don't agree, I'm cool with that. If you do agree, great. Give it a thumbs up, whatever. Uh, all right. I'm going to get off here because it's 1230 at night and I got to go to bed, but I wanted to give you guys all the information. Mr. Mega Fred Zeppelin showed up. Uh, Meathead showed up. Kent Vandeweerd showed up. Johnny Texas Cuisine showed up. Um, In for the girl showed up. Sorry, Scott, I didn't let you know. This is kind of impromptu. Um, Johnny made the comment. There you go. I made my UDS years ago. I am suing them both. Johnny, you probably are right, but you didn't make a trademark on wherever the hell Pit Barrel Cooker did. They did the trademark and spent the money, did the time, etc. If you read what's in the lawsuit, it's kind of some fuckboy crazy shit. I probably shouldn't say that. Sue me, I don't give a fuck, but is what it is. All right, guys, I'm hanging up here. Um, thanks for tuning in. Talk to you later. Bye.